Hey guys, welcome back. So I was talking with a fellow Raider of mine, um, and it was interesting talking about some veteran advocacy things. And for those that know, I ran the Raider Project for um, nine years. Nine years we had the Raider Project, and so I've and, and in those early days we we made some mis mistakes as far as like running retreats and doing the things that everybody's doing now. So in this conversation. This is what came about. And, and my point to all of this is how, if we really, really want to help struggling veterans, if we want to make an impact in veterans' lives, then giving them a weekend getaway at, I don't know, doing hunting or going on a fishing trip or taking them to a retreat where they're doing yoga. Like, listen, those are all great. Or even, you know, like a jiu-jitsu retreat, whatever. It doesn't really matter what it is. But you take these guys who are struggling on a day-to-day -day life with their finances, with their communication skills, their coping mechanisms, their family, their relationships, and you give them a really good weekend. And that's great. For all the organizations out there, that's great. Good job. Guess who that's doing? That is helping you. That is, that is making you feel good about like I'm helping veterans and it absolves some sort of weird guilt thing that you have for maybe not serving or whatever it is right and you because you just want to give back cool that's great but showing taking someone who's having a really shitty go at life and then giving them a good weekend and then sending them on their way what do you think that does let me tell you what it does what it does is they have a really great weekend away from their family, away from their job, and they they go out and they go do a hunting thing. You're like, dude, this is awesome. My life, this life is awesome. And then they show up back on Monday to their wife and their kids and their job and their problems, and they go, "Fuck, this sucks." I was just super happy with all the all the old all the old homeboys on the weekend, and now I'm back here. And so maybe you guys are the problem. When in reality, it's the asshole. It's the veteran who's the problem. Your wife and kids don't suck. You suck. But the problem with this is this. These weekends, these weekend getaways, okay, don't give you any tools to solve the problem that comes in on Monday. So, geez, almost a decade ago, Josh Hansberger and I, my business partner with the Agogi, we're sitting on, uh, sitting at a cabin in the mountains and uh, next to a stream, very tranquil. And we're talking about these subjects. And it's funny that I'm still talking about these subjects a decade later. And we're talking about what the real problems are, what the real problems and the real, and the real solutions can be. And we came up with this idea like, yeah, we're going to run these weekend retreats. We're going we're gonna to do these things. But they, they have to be a working retreat. These guys have to get like skills and tools in their toolbox that can help them cope, them cope with the problems that they're facing in, in a daily life, right? Like taking ownership, you know, remembering who the hell they were because it blows my mind that like this warrior comes out of the military and all of a sudden civilian life is what gets them. That's the kryptonite, you know? Freaking Taliban or Al-Qaeda couldn't kill them, but civilian life, that's the really, that's, that's the sword in the side right there. I mean, I'm not buying it, okay? And listen, at the end of the day is I've been there. Like, if you've made it this far in the video, I've been there. I wrote a freaking book about it. It's called The Excommunicated Warrior, Seven Stages of Transition. I was down on the beach. I was ready to blow my freaking brains out. So I've been at that level. I've been at that step. But if you're going to run a weekend, if you're going to go on a weekend retreat or you're going to run one, you better be hiring people to come in and give them tools to be successful. It doesn't all have to be about a hunt. You can have a class. You can have a get-together and then give them something to when they have a problem, they go, man, James was talking about this on the retreat, and this is how we handle it. This is who I reach out to. Here's the skill. Here's the tool. Here's the resource. Because by just giving these guys a weekend and then sending them on their way, you're just fucking them up even more. And this, the next thing, or the last thing I'm going to say to the veteran is take 100% ownership of everything. Take a ownership of your health. Take ownership of your fitness, your finances, your family, your faith, all of it. Your, your medical stuff, the VA. If the v, oh, the VA won't do something. Who gives a shit? It's socialized health care. Of course they're not going to. Figure it out. FIFO. Figure it the fuck out.
because you're your best advocate. So take ownership of your fucking life and run it. Run the fucking play, man. You want to help veterans? That's how we help veterans. We take ownership and we remember who the fuck we are and then we fucking run with it. That's what I did. You can say whatever you want to say, but I got a pretty damn good life. But I took ownership of my life, 100% of it. Guys, I challenge you the same. If you need help with that, there's a link below. Get in my mentorship group. We are having these comments. We have a lot of vets in there. We have a lot of a lot of everybody in there. But we got a lot of vets in there. And you know what they're doing? They're taking ownership of their life and they're changing their life. They're changing their life. Because it's their decision. Invest in yourself. Click the link below. Never quit, never cinder. Always forward. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.